Hi everyone, Gabriella here from the sewing studio with Carol. Hi. <laughs> We're super excited because the Florida Shop Hop, the All Florida Shop Hop, is yes. officially going on. Yes. <laughs> um, and Carol has designed this gorgeous quilt to go along with the fabrics. We have these kits available for pre-order. Yes. And Carol, tell us about the quilt. Okay, so this is the panel and it is trimmed down and the the pattern has the dimensions and um i just love this panel it has so much i know it's, it's got so much going on in it and then the way you quilted around the little motifs is just perfect thank you and, and then so you accented the panel with these blocks blocks so. and these are flying geese right here and that's what we're going to be demonstrating Ooh, we're going to show you exactly how to make that flying yes. geese block <laughs> in just a second and then i fussy cut the um center squares and try yeah. to keep the boats in there and some yeah. dolphins. I can see that you have some boats in some and then fish in other ones. Yes, because yeah. I loved all the dolphins and yeah. And then so these boats are surrounded by the flamingo block. Yes. And the green squares, which is the flying geese. Yeah. And I tried to make it so that the panel stood out. That's what I really thought the quilt should um, show is the the panel itself because i just love this panel and you did it in the most perfect way so we have again this quilt kit for the quilt top available for pre-order yes. we only have a certain amount so if you love it you should get it on our website um and also we're selling the pattern if you already have the fabrics yes. so you can still make this quilt. Yes. <laughs> so let's get started with the flying geese block. Okay. I cut these squares using the measurements from my pattern. We're on this, we're going to draw, this is called the no waste flying geese method. And why is that? Because usually flying geese. Because you're usually wasting, uh, You normally what happens is you have half square triangles that you cut off. And then you're left cutting off triangles yes. that you could have used. Right. So and each one of these big squares and four little squares yields four flying geese, geese for your quilt. Correct. Okay, I think that's so cool. Yes. So the first thing we're gonna do is on our smaller squares is we're gonna draw a line down the center of the square. And then, and this is going to look a little awkward, but what we're going to do is we're going to pin diagonally. And I've already drawn the... Uh, the lines on the other squares. Squares, yes. TV magic. <laughs> yes. So if you notice, this is correct. They are supposed to overlap. Yeah, I remember the first time that I did this kind of flying geese, I wasn't sure what was going to happen because I, I was like, this doesn't look right. And when we cut it apart, it's going to even it's look gonna more look odd. It's going to look even weirder. Yeah. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew a quarter of an inch on either side of the uh, drawn line. Okay. And so I'm at the machine and I'm going to go ahead and using my quarter inch quilting foot, I'm gonna line up the line next to the edge where you would usually line up your um, cut edge, right? Correct. Yeah. And then so we go. And you do that on both sides, right, yes. Carol? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so there are a few different ways to make flying geese, but I think this one's my favorite method. It is, because you're not wasting any fabric and um, you're not going ahead and pre-cutting um, your triangles. So, and you're not sewing on the bias. So you have right. an accurate um, cut when you do this. And this is actually um, so easy. It's good for beginners too, beginner quilters. Yeah, I think this whole quilt is good for beginners, yes, right? Yes, it is. Beginner friendly? Yes, it is very beginner friendly. Okay, now I'm gonna hand it back to you, Carol. Okay. You tell us what to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut right. on that drawn line. Yep. 
Okay, this is when it gets hairy. Yeah, and you're going, okay, <laughs> this uh, looks how really am I weird. To piece this, right? <laughs> right. So now we get it to the ironing board, right? Yes. So let's just take it over here. And I'm just ironing to the the dark side on this. Okay. And this looks really odd right now. So we're now we're going to take our other square and we're going to put it and this line, if you notice, it goes right down the center. Right. So And we'll you're just, lining it up on the corner of the Yes, the corner, too. yes. And yeah, we'll just put a pin in just so that it doesn't move. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Is you're gonna uh, sew a quarter of an inch on either side of the drawn line. Right. This is one of those things where you have to really trust the process. Yes. <laughs> Okay, one more. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hand it back over to you. And here's where the magic happens. You cut on the line again? Yes, we're going to cut right down that center line. And now, and let's bring the ironing board over here. I'll yes. lift the iron so that people can see what you're doing. Okay. All right. And now we're going to again iron to the dark side. And look what we have. And normally I go ahead and just trim off my dog ears, but now you have. And that is so. Cool. Yes. So I misspoke um, when I said each square yields four, each square yields two. <laughs> well, y yes. I well, got a little confused with the... Well, we still have, it does, each square does equal four. Oh, never mind. Okay, yes. you see? And I've done this before and I was still confused. Yes, <laughs> yes. We just, for a time's sake, I just ironed one, but yeah. yes. Okay, so the more you do it, Yes. The easier it's going to be. Right. Okay. So you just do this throughout the whole quilt. Yes. And then that um, surrounds the square, the middle square with the half square triangles. triangles. Correct. So okay. that's what this does. And the thing is, is when you're doing this, you could actually do, say, uh, when you're, you're sewing it, you can do it one right after the other, go back and sew on the other side of the drawn line and you um, too. Yeah. That's so cool. You, That's very cool. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed our no waste flying geese tutorial um, using Carol's awesome pattern. Thank you. Again, the patterns are available um, to purchase in store or online right now. And the quilt kit for the quilt top is available for pre-order and you would receive the quilt kit in May. May. Um, so yay, that's so exciting. Yay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.